Hello friends, this is Abhishek. Welcome back to the Angular JS video tutorial. This is the video number 10. Today uh, we are going to see uh, how we can use uh, the template URL in custom Angular JS directive. Okay. Uh, if you have watched my earlier videos in which we have seen that how we can uh, include HTML pages in another HTML page that means the nested HTML pages to reduce the duplications of header and footer okay uh, this was our example in which we have created uh, the how we can uh, use the ng include directive okay now uh, here this is the second part of custom directive right here we are going to create our custom uh, directive and then we will include that in our existing HTML pages, right? We have a uh, ready-made uh, footer.html and header.html. Okay, and here is our app.js, right? So here I'll show you how we can create a custom directive. Okay, so here we need a app object, then directive. Okay, and uh, here is a basic rule to create the custom directive. That is, we need to name it as name it in camel case so here I'll name it as header page okay and then the calling function okay so what we are going to return uh, return I'll we will restrict restrict as an uh, as an element okay here you can pass the value like uh, where you want to call it like as an element as an uh, attribute as an class and as an comment right so there are very uh, different uh, type of values over here and here we will set it uh, T -E -M -P -L -A -T -E, template URL and the template URL that will be our header dot HTML okay this is our simplest directive now we are going to use this directive inside our HTML page okay but before that I'll show you the exact output before using the template our header our content and our footer right so here I'm gonna comment this and then we'll include the element element what is element header dash page okay this is our custom directive now let's paste this okay the problem is our header is not there okay I think there is something mistake so let's check it out okay what we have given name in our header page right and uh, we set it as restrict R E S T R I C T restrict E E for element okay and here we have set our header page header dash just refresh it okay template url header.html directive is ready app.directive and uh, we are going to return the value as a restrict as an element just remove this for a while template url will be header dot html we have used in our HTML tag over here okay so here let's try this So we have created a custom directive with and uh, we have loaded with header page okay 
and the same we are going to load a uh, one create will create one more directive app dot directive and this will be for footer page and here function what we are going to return the whole statement the restrict for attribute okay and template url that will be footer dot html oops okay and on index dot html we are going to comment control v to comment this and then we'll include as an attribute that is uh, at here, footer dash page okay now just run this application perfect header and footer both are working fine right okay i hope you guys have uh, understood how we can create a custom directives for our particular for including our external html page into our main application but this is basically used for single page application this is uh, very beneficial to use this kind of strategy in your single page application right in our next uh, video tutorial what we are going to see uh, we'll see how we can bind the controller for a particular page okay that means we are loading a, a footer html page dynamically and now suppose we want to do some task or uh, some logical work then we need a controller how we can bind that controller for the particular footer dot or particular header dot html pages okay we'll see that in next video tutorial thanks for watching uh, keep in mind uh, to subscribe this video channel for the uh, for the latest video tutorials thanks for watching bye bye and i just want to tell you about my uh, video sponsors devmountain.com uh, just because of them i'm recording this video tutorial for you guys actually they are running a coding boot camp and they provided a different kind of courses like a web development mm. web development ios development and ux design for the full time and after hours Okay, uh, the main important point, they'll teach you everything that you need to take a job in this field. Okay, so uh, I would like to request to just check out their website, demartin.com, and uh, I have already put, uh, put down the links inside the description box below. And uh, one more thing, if you do contact with them, just tell them my reference. Okay, uh, till then, keep learning. Bye-bye.